everyone, welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and the start of a weekday vlog. Hello Brick! Today is Monday the 10th of February and it is half term, which is why Brooke's standing there. They have a week off school. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> um, we've not really got much planned. Today Abby's going out to Glasgow with my mum. They're getting the train again and they're going gallivanting. And sorry about my hair, I know it's greasy, but I'm going out with my mum shopping tomorrow, so I'm just waiting to wash my hair tomorrow before we go. Um, and other than that, we're just going to take it as it comes. Brooke's got a couple of riding lessons, haven't you? Yep. Yep. Um, tomorrow and Wednesday in the morning. Yeah, 10. Yeah, and then my mum's going to be back again on Wednesday because she has things to do. So yeah, that is where we're at. It is half past ten just now. I have just edited the weekend vlog and I'll hopefully get out later on to get that uploaded. I need to nip out to the shop anyway. We did get our Tesco order last night, but that was a bit of a palaver. It was due to be delivered... Well, you weren't here, were you? You were in the cabin. It was due to be delivered between 10 and 11. No, no it wasn't. <laughs> It was due to be delivered between 8 and 9 last night and it came about quarter past 8 I think which was good and the driver was lovely, it was really good and because it was our first time getting a home delivery from Tesco he went through the receipt with me and explained how to do returns and things like that, it was really really nice and so he went away and I started putting everything away and realised that half of it was missing. So I tried to phone the driver because he had phoned with uh, to get directions to the house. So I had his mobile number but it kept going to the answer machine. And so I eventually phoned customer services and I said, look, all my fridge stuff is missing. I've got no milk for um, Jack's breakfast this morning. I've got no lunch for him for no today. Milk. There is now. Yes. Just let me get on with the story. Um, I said, I've got no dinner for the kids tomorrow. And the guy on the phone was really, really good. Um, he apologised and he said, right, you stay on the phone. I'll try and get hold of the driver and I'll come back to you. So he came back to me and he said, the driver's um, just done one drop off. He's about to do another one that's in the same area and then he'll come back to you. He has still got a tree belonging to you in his van. So I knew because of where he was, compared to where we are, it was going to take a while. So it was about quarter to ten before he came back with it. And I'm usually in my bed at nine o'clock, so I was exhausted. Um, so he did eventually come back with it all. And he apologised profusely. I have had my delivery charge refunded. So it's all good. We got it in the end. But there were a couple of things that I didn't order because they didn't have it. So I'm going to nip out to the shop for that today. Did you have any shop or wait? They did have chocolate roulette. Guess what? What? It was half price, so I got two boxes. Brooke loves the Craves chocolate roulette, but for some reason, Asda mm. stopped doing it. Um, we last found it, like, not too long ago, after like, a huge wait for me. We got it, it in Morrison's, Morrison's, that's right. So um, but Tesco did it. just finished that box. Yeah, and it was half price, so I got two for you, so you'll be happy. And she's just having a croissant for her breakfast since it's a school holiday. And yeah, so that the plan for today is not very much, to be honest. Um, I'm about to film my keto haul from last night. It was too late last night, so I've put everything away and I'll just get it out again. So that will go up as a separate video. And what else? I think that's about it. Brooke and I are just going to chill out in the house. Like I said, hopefully I'll go and get the weekend vlog uploaded while I'm at the shop. But other than that, I'm not really doing much today. I think that's about... Oh, I did... I spoke on Friday about wanting to order a spiralizer, and I did. So I am going to make some zoodles, so basically zucchini or courgette noodles. Tonight I'm going to make my own meatballs and sauce as well. So hopefully that will go well, but hold on and I will show you the spiralizer that I got. So I didn't want to go for a really cheap handheld one, um, like the last one that was rubbish. So I went for that and it looks pretty good. I can't remember how much it was. Was it £10? £10, £15? Something like that. I'll put it on the screen when I'm editing. Um, 
And I just realised when I when it arrived that it's the same make as my toaster and my kettle, Andrew James, and I do like them, so hopefully it will be quite good quality. So I'm going to use that tonight to make my courgette, courgette or zoodles, whatever you want to call it, and I'll show you when I'm using it. Right, I'm going to head off just now and get this haul filmed, and I'll come back to you later on. Here is Abby ready to go for the day. Look at that outfit of the day. Including elf socks. elf socks, what are they, cargo camouflage cargo, pants, yeah. and show them under your, she's got a Calvin Klein t-shirt with her, what's that called that's over it? The bodysuit. A bodysuit, yeah. lace bodysuit over it, and a DIY crop jumper, she just cut the bottom off, and her Hollister hat, and you're looking good, ready to go out in the snow, my gran. <laughs> Well, you can't really see from here, but the weather is absolutely shocking today. It's going between snowing really heavy and raining really heavy with a little bit of hail in between. So I have decided I am not going out to the shop today and I can just get what I need tomorrow. It means shuffling my dinners about, but that's fine. And it also means that my weekend vlog and my haul won't be uploaded until tomorrow, but... Needs must. It's horrible out there and I've got a really sore ear. It's been blocked for a while, like I can't hear out it. And um, it started giving me a lot of pain, so I don't know if it's infected or what. But <laughs> So, <laughs> dogs are driving me mad. So I've decided I'm just going to sit down, chill out and catch up on some telly. So I'm about to watch last night's Dancing on Ice, which I'm loving this year. Um, I really like Perry. I don't know if any of you are watching it, but I really like Perry from Diversity and I like Maura from Love Island. The only one I don't like actually this year is H from Steps. I think he's too full of himself. I'm just not a fan of him at all. Um, and I'm loving John Barrowman as a new judge as well. So anyway, I'm going to watch this and then I've got Cold Feet to watch and I've got Deadwater Fell. I've got loads to be catching up on. So that is my plan. I'm going to be lazy this afternoon. Brooke is quite happy. She was playing with her toys and now she's on her laptop and Abby and my mum are still out. So this is me for the afternoon, I think. And I will catch up with you later on. Right, so it's almost half past four. I have just made my dinner, which is um, spinach and ricotta chicken from Tesco with some sauteed veg. I am going to eat this watching a vlog, watching some vlogs. That's um, Tracy and Mad Scott's last meals of the week that I'm watching just now. And I finished watching Dancing on Ice. It was fab. I was happy with the result. I'm not going to give any spoilers. Mind you, I maybe just have. Mm. Um, so I'm going to have this and then when Jack comes in, I'm just going to chill out. Probably. So Granny Annie and Abby are back from Glasgow. Let's see what they've bought. Dun, Wait just dun, now, Brooke. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Granny Annie got a new Michael Kors bag. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell them what a bargain it was? What a bargain. No. Not only did I get a Michael Kors bag, but it got a raincoat. Yes, the bag, the paper bag had a raincoat. Did How clever was that? Did the raincoat cost six quid? <laughs> no. The bag was cheaper than my pom pom. <laughs> so tell them how much it was originally. Three hundred and fifteen pounds. And you got it for fifty-one. Wow. Because I had a gift, two gift vouchers from Santa, so the bag cost me fifty-one pounds. Wow. And I'm really just even got a key. And Brooke got from Hamleys a gorgeous. Schleich, Schleich, horse. Go and keep it still. <laughs> and it's got its blanket and reins. And is that a lead rope? Yeah. Wow. That's no, not reins, it's just metal bit. Uh, that's it. what I meant. It's not reins, it's a... What's it called? Bit. No, because no. the bit's more on the... What's it called again? This isn't called anything. The head thing it is. The head collar. Uh, head oh, head collar. collar, that's but it. This oh, isn't this, this bit isn't usually on. Oh, okay. Right. If you're not from the UK, you'd call it a halter. Oh, oh. okay. So look, we pelting down the snow and my little Tommy Cooper got bone dry. That's a very clever thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Um just for reference, Granny Annie calls Michael Kors Tommy Cooper. <laughs> because it's a man's name and I could never remember. I would go, what's his name? 
I knew it was a man's. No, Tommy Cooper. It's like Tommy Cooper. <laughs> like Michael, Michael Kors. Kors. Nothing like Tommy Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Abby. Come in. Let us see the jeans. Cool. The jeans are beautiful. Turn mm -hmm. around. Wow. Ooh. And then let's see the shoes. I see the sexy socks. socks. My oh, you still got your elf socks on? Right, turn your shoes to the side and let us see. And what kind are these? Chef Ramsay's. Chef Ramsay's? <laughs> what are they? Vans. Vans, yes, trust you. Skaters? No. Skaters? No. She is a skater girl. See? See? She says, see you later, girl. Oh, that's okay. okay. Um, so, do you have a good day with Graham? Excellent. Good morning everybody. It's ten past nine on Tuesday morning and Brooke's ready to go horse riding. Look, she's got her bling jumper on that she got for Christmas. Rana can smell the horses on my hair, mate. Do you smell the horses, Rana? Do you smell your You're cousins? the size of a horse. Do you smell your cousins? <laughs> so, yep, my dad is taking Brooke horse riding this morning and I'm heading out with my mum. Already for going out shopping with my mum today. We are going when I went to the retail park on Saturday to get my new car to do the test ride and order the car. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and check out my weekend vlog. I noticed that it was a fab retail park. There's um, TK Maxx, Poundland, um, B&M or Home Bargains, one of the two. There's a quite a big looking charity shop and I thought, oh, I need to go there. So that is the plan for today. The weather's still pretty awful. It's going between snow and rain and very windy. So I'm not particularly looking forward to the drive. However, there's stuff that I really need to get. I'll probably need to nip to Asda on the way back. Stuff that I either forgot to order from Tesco or couldn't get from Tesco. Um, so yeah, I do really need to go out. Plus my mum goes home tomorrow. So it's the only chance we're going to get. And it's just going to be the two of us, which will be nice because Abby's staying here studying and with the dogs and Brooke's going to be with my dad. So we're going to be just the two of us, which will be lovely girly retail therapy. Not that I've got much money, but never mind. Um, and if I get enough, I'll do a separate haul, but I'll let you know anyway what's going on. Now, when I went to my bed last night, I was full of great intentions of getting up an hour early this morning to sweep the floor and make sure the house was all tickety-boo before I went away. That went out the window. I woke up still early, I always do, um, just my body clock, and I thought, right, time to get up and get the floors done, then I thought, I can't be bothered. Does anybody else get a real case of I can't be bothered in the school holidays? I don't know if it's because I'm out of my routine, because I don't need to get up for anything, but I'm always really full of great intentions of doing things, and then when it comes to it, I'm like, just no motivation. Is anybody else like that? Is it just me? Um, so, and of course, Clyde takes a drink again. Um, so, yeah, that's us. It's ten past nine just now. I am going to do a couple of bits and pieces in the house and then I am going to have my coffee to break my fast and then we're heading off that way because I thought if we leave before I break my fast I'll be hungry early on um, so I'm going to take some cheese and stuff with me but there's like plenty of eating places including a McDonald's there so I'm quite sure I won't go hungry if I'm hungry we can have something I will stay on plan and on the way there I will definitely get the weekend vlog uploaded I'm sorry that it's late um, but there's just no way I was going out in that weather yesterday. Okay, I'm going to go now and I will catch up with you later on. See you soon. Hello, we are at the retail park now. It's not at you. <laughs> my mum just panicked. We're in the changing room in that one. And my mum's standing topless. She thought I was pointing the camera at her. <laughs> just didn't get any mirrors in. No, there's no mirrors. I'm looking, don't you worry. Um, yeah, we're in Matalan just now. Having a wee look. Oh, that's nice. That's a lovely outfit. Can I turn them round and let you let them see? Mm -hmm. Hold on. What do you think, viewers? There's Granny Annie, and can you go out a wee bit so that I can get you in? <laughs> if you have to. If I have to. That's quite nice. I quite like that. That's a nice wee outfit. See you in the mirror. Yes, always be happy. That's a nice slogan to live by, isn't it? It's back on me again, you're fine. <laughs> So yeah, we're in Matlan. I've picked one thing up for me and um, from here we're going to go to 
what, what, what did we say? There was a pound land. We're going to go to B&N last. There's a cancer research shop, um, TK Maxx. So, yeah, there's quite a few places that we're going to go to. So I'm in the pound shop and they've got some really nice Valentine's things. But this, I just had to show you. Look. Don't go baking my heart. I couldn't if I fried. <laughs> <laughs> that just appeals to me so much. I've got Valentine's crackers. What's that? Dusting slippers. Oh wow! I could put them on my uh, feet and wheel myself about. Is that a pound? A pound. I'm gonna get them for a laugh. <laughs> oh look! I love your cock a doo doo doo. <laughs> That's terrible. I love, I love every, every bone in, in my, my body, body, especially yours. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> That's brilliant. In case your Valentine's is crappy. <gasps> I should get that for Jack. How to use the washing machine. <laughs> You'll do. You're so fit, run and get me a brew. <laughs> you make me horny AF. Oh, they're mugs. <gasps> oh, I need to get a mug. I need to get a mug. I'm gonna get that. I love your cock a doo doo doo. Oh, you're I was gonna get that for Brooke, well, but no. maybe not. <laughs> my favourite ride we had. She wouldn't get, she it. Wouldn't get it, but I still can't get my 10 year old that. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get the cock a doo 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 one. Lunchtime, we're at Burger King, and I have got a burger without a bun. I did ask for bacon, but they're not giving me it, and I can't be bothered going back up. Mum's got a barbecue melt, chicken barbecue chicken melt with chili cheese, bites and chips and a drink that was four for four pounds. All of that for four pounds, which isn't bad for Burger King. Nice. Wow. And I got a Sprite Zero with vanilla and Mum got a Sprite Zero with strawberry. I do like the fact that they, you can choose your own drinks in here and add flavourings. However, I don't like the fact that you don't get to order at the board like you do in McDonald's. Time to tuck in. Right, it's, it's 25 to 4 and we've finished shopping. It's been a good wee day, hasn't it? Great. It's been lovely. Uh, so it was Mathland, TK Maxx, Poundland and B&M that we've been to. And I'm going to do a separate haul because there's too much to show you in this week's vlog. Um, so we're heading off now. We're going to leave here and head towards home and go to Asda for the bits I couldn't get at Tesco. And then we're going home. So I'll see you later on. Good morning. It is 10 to 10 cowboy time on Wednesday morning. And I didn't pick the camera up again yesterday because it was about 20 to 6 by the time we got in and I still had to sort through all the bags so my mum could get what was hers and I had to put the stuff from Asda away and I hadn't had any dinner so I ended up just having a coffee and then I just collapsed on the couch for the rest of the night. So I'm up and about today. Brooke is away for a horse riding lesson and I am due to pick her up at half past 10. Um, my mum and dad are going straight home from the horse riding lesson so rather than them coming all the way back here to go all the way there again I said that I would pick Brooke up. However she might not even get her lesson. We've got a bit of a problem with Brooke in that ever since she started horse riding she loves it that much that she gets herself so worked up that she was feeling sick before her lessons. And then a couple of weeks ago when I took her, she was getting to the stage that she was actually dry booking before it. She was just not ill, just so excited she was actually needing to be sick. And my mum's just phoned and said that she's been sick everywhere when they got her there today. So whether or not she'll get on the horse, I don't know. If anybody has got any tips on how to stop yourself being sick with excitement, please let me know because Abby was the same when she was younger and I was the same when I was young. It seems to be a genetic thing, but I just don't know how to help her and it's getting worse every time. Um, so I might leave a wee bit earlier just in case she doesn't actually get her lesson. She'll be devastated if she doesn't because she loves it that much. Um, so I've not got too much to do on my little list today. I want to start editing this haul, eh, this haul. I want to start editing this video and I've got a haul to film from yesterday. Um, and that's pretty much it. I don't need to cook for me and Jack tonight because 
Um, Jack and Abby are at the football, so I might just make myself a nice wee quick and easy mushroom and cheese omelette for dinner tonight, I think. And then I think I'm going to sit down with Brooke, we're going to watch a film with a little face pack on and things like that and just have a nice wee chill out night tonight. That's the plan anyway, but I will jump on later on and let you know what is happening. I'll see you soon. Okay, so it's now six o'clock and Abby and Jack are away to the football. So Brooke and I are having a girly night, aren't they? I've got ever. my face mask on. Brooke's getting her face mask on. Beautiful! It's the avocado and oats one from Poundland that Tracy sent us. Oh, oh, I've got a bit in my mouth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Wait, Tracy sent us it. Edible. Yes, well... It wouldn't kill you if you ate it, but I don't think it would taste very nice. So, Brooke is in her Harry Potter onesie and I'm in my jammies and cosy socks. And we're about to sit and watch a film. What are we going to watch, Brooke? Annabelle. Annabelle. Now, Brooke's seen it before and she says, I'm going to be scared. I've heard all about Annabelle and I've watched The Conjuring, which is the sequel to Annabelle, but I've never actually seen Annabelle. The actual sequel to Annabelle is Annabelle Comes Home. Yeah, but, oh, well, sorry, Annabelle is the prequel to The Conjuring. The story of Annabelle comes before the story of The Conjuring. Might not be directly before. Anyway, that is our plan for tonight, isn't it? Yep. Yep. And I'm not going to stuff my face with drunk while I watch it, although I would love to. But I'm being good. <laughs> so that's us we're just going to once this is all sorted we're going to settle down to watch Annabelle and we will see you in the morning good morning everybody it is ten past ten on Thursday morning and please excuse the state of me I am not feeling the best this morning so I'm still in my jammies and I'm just out of my bed I, I did get up earlier Oh, got an itchy nose, sorry. I did get up earlier and did the usual sort of the dogs, fed them, put the washing in the machine, emptied the dishwasher, all of that, and then went back to my bed again. Um, I've got a sore throat, I've got no energy, and that is always the first signs of my body telling me, time to switch off for a wee while or else I'll switch off for you. So that is what I'm doing. I'm glad that I know the signs now and I know when to just... Take it easy because if I push through it, that's when I do end up really ill. So it's an easy day today. Um, yesterday, by the time I got back from picking Brooke up from her riding lesson, and by the way, she was perfectly fine once she was with the horses. She wasn't feeling sick anymore. It's pure excitement that does it. So if anybody does know of any ways to get over that, please let me know below. Um, so I picked her up, but then on the way back, the snow was really quite bad. So it was quite a slow journey and I had to go the long way around because of the snow. So by the time I got back, it was too late for me to film my haul. Abby was in the room um, studying and I just, I couldn't be bothered. See what I mean about this? Couldn't be bothered during um, school holidays. It's annoying. Um, <coughs> sorry about the dogs. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I didn't edit it, no, I didn't film a whole video yesterday. The plan was instead to film it today. However, that's not going to happen either, but it can wait until tomorrow. It's not, there's no rush to get it up. Um, I did edit this vlog up until yesterday, so that means I've got less editing to do today, which is good. And then what I did was I sat and I binge watched The Stranger on Netflix. I basically watched the first four episodes back to back. Now, I read the book, it's a Harlan Coben book, and I read it years ago. I, I read, it, read it on Audible, so I listened to it. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to watch it or not on Netflix, because sometimes when they turn a book into a series, it's not really that great. But I was hearing good reviews about it, and then my mum, who had also listened to the book with me, watched it and said it was really good so I decided to give it a go and yeah I'm glad I did really enjoying it and um, so hopefully I'll get the rest of that watch today and that was basically all I did through the day yesterday and I last night you saw Brooke and I having our face masks on having a wee girly night we ended up not watching Annabelle because the DVD was still in the cabin so we watched we rented 
The Women in Black on Amazon because Brooke hasn't seen it before and she just loves scary films. Abby tried to watch it years ago and was too scared and put it off. I love it. I think it's a brilliant film. So we watched that instead and I have to say she really enjoyed it. She did get a few frights but so did I and I've seen it loads. <laughs> um, so yeah, we really enjoyed that and she didn't have nightmares. It was fine. And like I said this morning, I haven't done much at all. What I have done, I've been watching some vlogs and I've bought again. I really need to get this spending things under control. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> Jack's watching my videos now, so I can't get away with telling you in secret. Um, basically, because I do, I'm going on about my hair and how fine and limp it is. Um, that was one of the reasons that I made the bone broth for the collagen properties. It's really good for your hair and skin and nails. And I was watching Keto Christina and she has got a code for perfect keto collagen that you add to your coffee, um, which was basically giving you 15% off. And I had been avoiding ordering from there because it's an American company, so I thought it would cost a fortune. But the shipping's only $5 something, so it's actually not that bad. Um, so yeah, I have ordered some collagen and some Perfect Keto birthday cake flavoured keto bars, so I'll show you them when they come. I haven't got my Skinny Coffee hot chocolate back uh, through yet, but Gemma has been in touch and said that it's on its way, so thank you Gemma. I don't know why I'm saying thank you, she doesn't watch these videos. And the other thing that I had bought the other day and I showed you on Monday was my spiralizer, and I did say that I was going to show you when I use it. I've not used it yet because I ended up having to swap all my meals around when I didn't get out to the shop on Monday, but I will show you when I use it, so don't worry about that. And lastly, what I need to tell you about is my weigh-in results. Um, I stepped on the scales as normal this morning at my usual time, even though the girls are on holiday. But first of all, let me quickly go through my week. Right, so I've got all my meals written down just in case I forget them. But one thing I can say is I have been 100% on plan all week. Yay, go me! Even the weekend when I was faced with all sorts of temptations, especially at the caravan show where there was ice cream, there was muffins, there was fudge, there was everything, I stayed strong. So yeah, I am really, really pleased with myself for that. So, I'll just take you through my meals of the week, um, rather than, because through the day it tends to be the same sort of things that I have all the time. And I'll put a photo of each thing up in the corner so you can see what it looked like as well. So Thursday night for dinner, I had bacon wrapped chicken with some roasted veg with cheese on top, which was delicious. And then a Friday night, I took the steak out the freezer to make sure that I um, stayed on plan. So I had steak with mushrooms and onions, which was lovely. Saturday night, I didn't have a main meal because I had been grazing all day when I was out at the caravan show with the snacks that I took with me. Sunday, I had, oh, the chicken satay that I made the sauce for myself with the courgette rice. That was really nice. Monday was... The Tesco spinach and ricotta chicken breast, which was so, so nice. Relatively high in carbs, but well worth it. Really, really tasty. And I just sauteed some veg to go with that. So that was really good. Tuesday, I didn't have a meal. I had my Burger King when I was out. And then by the time I got in, I was too tired. And it was close to my eating, it, eating window ending. So I just had a coffee. And then last night I had an omelette. I just made myself a cheese and mushroom omelette because I wasn't cooking for Jack. And that was it. So that was all my meals. I stayed on plan. I have felt great for it. Yeah, I've had the odd craving, but I've managed to resist. So I have felt fantastic. And I wasn't sure what to expect on the scales today because last week... I had a slight loss, even although I had eaten terribly at the weekend, so I thought that might come back to bite me today, but I wasn't sure. So I'd change of angle so I could get my whiteboard. So this week, when I stepped on the scales, I had a massive cheesy grin on my face, because this week I lost 2.4 pounds. Yay! So, so pleased. 
Last week I was £137.6 and this week I was £135.2. So £2.4 lost in a week. And that means I am now the lightest I've been since June last year. And I am over the moon with that. Really, really happy. So yeah, the focus for the week ahead is just do the same keep going. I don't think there's anything really to throw me off track. We're out at Canny Cross on Sunday, um, but I'll, again, I'll just go prepared and we usually get a McDonald's or something when we're out, so that shouldn't throw me off too much. And yeah, very, very happy. So I am going to end it here for the weekday vlog. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please let me know how you're getting on and whatever journey you're doing. And just talk to me in general. Let me know if you've got any tips for stopping the wee one being sick or feeling sick when she's so excited. And um, yeah, I will talk to you in my weekend vlog, which I will start tomorrow. If you have enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hit the bell notification so that you know every time I upload a video. And I will see you in my next one. Thanks everyone. Bye!